Number six, an email from the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association is getting a lot of attention for banning certain chants. Casey Geraldo joins us live from South Hamilton High School and explains why some students are mad over the WIAA rules. Yeah, the email said it explained to students the expectations of sportsmanship for games like the basketball games going on here tonight. They say it's a pretty standard email reminder about things that have already been in the handbook for years. But one student took to Twitter to express her feelings about that reminder, and then she was suspended for a few sports games. That's when the controversy exploded nationwide. School district internal report details how administrators wanted to obtain phone records that was the way you expect fans to support their team with cheers and chants. But it's words like those, we can't hear you, that have angry students turning to the WIAA saying, you can't do that. I'm not allowed to uh, chant my classic favorite chants such as nothing but net, scoreboard, Two Kettle Moraine High School students created this video after the WIAA sent out a reminder about sportsmanship guidelines. Those have been in existence for 10 to 15 years. Todd Clark says there's nothing new going on, but after a Hilbert High School student was given a four and a half game suspension for sending this tweet, Students have taken to social media to vent their frustration. Ashwabadan students taped their mouths shut in protest. I still am against them. I don't really agree. I think some of them are a little too far. First Amendment still applies. The WIAA says the words they list are just suggestions, and the school gets to decide how they enforce sportsmanship. If these unsportsmanlike chants and cheers uh, arise, you know, please dr address it immediately. Which the Hilbert Athletic Director says usually happens with a quick and easy conversation. When I talked with the Hilbert School Athletic Director, he says the student was suspended for a violation of their school policy. But the WIAA says despite this nationwide controversy, they're open to hearing what people say and they may even make changes if member schools are interested in those. Live in Milwaukee, I'm Casey Geraldo for today's TMJ4. All right, serious issue, I know, but at least there was no chanting behind you. All right, Casey, thanks.